Hey guys, today's video is about some of the worst DMs people have encountered. If you have your own horrible DM story, put it into the comments down below and if we get enough of them, we might make a video about it. But let's get into the video. Bad GM story thread. I'll go first. GM is a major story shitter. He keeps trying to sneak in this weird artistic bullshit about how all magic is evil. God, that is the worst. I never understood why people have such a hatred for magic. I know, I don't time. get it. Like, don't get me wrong, I know I people can be annoyed whenever people spam cam twips all the time and it's like, oh, remember the days whenever <laughs> wizards used slitting shots and all that stuff? <laughs> you know, that, like, you know, it's not that bad, is it? Party is in sewers trying to find some cultists. Find a group hanging around. We engage and kill all but one. The last one runs down a darker tunnel to escape. Our party rogue follows to see where he runs to, instead of killing him. Rogue goes stealth. DM. Okay, you'll be at a disadvantage. Rogue. Wait, what? Why? DM. The tunnel is almost pitch black. You'll be at a disadvantage on your stealth check since you can't see very well. Pick related. <laughs> <laughs> be me. In campaign. Other character in my party has anthro curse that turns her into a fox girl. Dear Christ. Oh, God. That's, That's one off the checklist. Yeah, yeah. Can we please get a furry in the <laughs> None of you guys are going to pay furries. I'm going to force one. To yes. That sounds about like to me anyway. Constantly makes memes the whole session. On her phone, always. Invites other friend in. Same as her. Runs campaign. It's just her original characters running around doing important stuff whilst we sit back. Back to campaign. See group of witches. They offer to cure her curse if someone sacrifices himself. Tired of current character I'm playing, take one for the team and cure her. After session. Anon, you ruined her story. Oh, come on. You give me the chance to cure her in game. Anon, you should have met a game and thought about the party. You could have stepped in. You're the DM. I didn't want to make a scene. You just did it because you were bored. Another player changes his character in this exact campaign. He has lower reasons. Mine didn't. I took a hag deal. You were supposed to fight them. Am I a fucking mind reader? Her story, her character. <coughs> gets banned from both campaigns. Jesus, I feel really good about this. I have played with another group and realised all they did all session was post. The groups I play with now are much more mature. I'm all for having fun, but pick related is literally the chat during the session. Thank God I don't play D&D anymore. And he thought these people were a friend group. Oh, that's kind of sad. It's sad that it put him off D&D. &D. No, it didn't put him off. It's just... And that it was a friend group. It, no, it did put him off. He says, thank God I don't play D&D &D anymore. Uh, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Well, you know... That's a thing. Like, yes, we read, we read these stories. But this is a small select... Smaller... Marginally... Uh, well, this is a group <laughs> of people who... Yeah, you do run into whenever you're playing tabletop role playing games, there's but a lot it's of not. Out there. Okay, yeah, like but a lot it's of not every group that you run into, and these videos shouldn't stop you from playing yeah. those games. They're just fun to look at. The more extreme it examples. just gives you, it just gives you a bit more of awareness whenever you <laughs> go. All right, okay, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Is, is this some form of? Like, these are the red flags that you should watch. <laughs> is this some form of like PS, uh, like PSA, PSA, and yeah. or something? Yeah. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to talk to you about our new affiliate, Reroll. Reroll is a D&D 5th edition character builder app. Now, everyone needs a character sheet app for a tabletop game, but what makes Reroll stand out above all the rest is its character art. I personally find the character art really, really cool. It has this beautiful retro pixel art aesthetic, and they are continually adding new races and items, so you can customise it whatever way you want. They currently have 14 supported races, over 150 weapons, and over 400 pieces of armour you can mix and match from to really make your character come to life. And the best part, you can have your own little cute companion, like a little baby penguin, a flying kitty, a stupid looking pug, or my personal favourite, a little corgi. And the best thing about Reroll, it has a free version with limited character art so you can try before you buy and see if you like it or not. We personally think it's an amazing app that will just improve your overall enjoyment of tabletop role-playing games. Reroll is on Apple, Android, Desktop, and if you use our coupon code NECKBEARDIA at checkout, you get 10% off. 
It's a great affiliate that we think you guys will love. But enough of that. Let's get back to the video. GM touches my dice. I tell him, don't do that. He laughs as he juggles my dice in his hands. I start to cry when he puts them in his mouth. He spits them out in my face. Dice lands natural 20s. Why? <laughs> I don't like people touching my dice either. Yeah. I don't mind like if they need like let's say another d6 or something. Oh, I'm like yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but but you see, whenever they just lean over and get it, it's like ask, ask. Because that's how dice just go messing around. Yeah. I, I quite like my dice. Yeah. Recently, our GM steered us towards a confrontation with a kind of demigod. We were warned several times that unless we got in the Deus Ex machine we would not be powered up enough to fight them, but that there was a significant chance that the Deus Ex machine could kill us, as determined by dice. Life is cheap, so another character and mine jump in. The machine instantly starts to murder us, and the DM had to fudge how things turned out. So now my character is temporarily super powered, but will ultimately be a cripple. We get to the big fight. I'm conservative with my spells, and don't waste them on minions. We finally confront the boss and I effectively nuke them. Later when chatting with a GM about a game I'm running, I comment that it's tricky building a balanced encounter. He proceeds to complain about what smooth-brained retards we are and how killing off my character would have undone what he had set up. I let it go. We all get frustrated sometimes. The next session was a carnival day. The GM has said time and time again that he wants us to roleplay. I'm sorry, but see Carnival Days in D&D, &D, they're like filler episodes. I know they are. They're the definition of filler episodes. <laughs> the DM just can't think, right? Like, yeah. Oh, Carnival Day! <laughs> okay, so the GM said time and time again that he wants us to roleplay. Really get into the characters. My character was a religious but hypocritical, with only one thing he really abided by. When I said, my character looks for a group of people to preach town, it got dismissed. Then he wanted us to play a small game involving the one thing my character holds taboo. He was upset that I stuck to my guns and didn't have my character join in on the one activity he explicitly won't do. At the end, we all start travelling to the next location for the story. On the way, GM makes it explicitly clear that there are dangerous monster types around. I roleplay and get an NPC to outline what attracts the monster's type. We get attacked by something else. We're doing fine. Then in an effort to escape, the other characters start doing the one action that is guaranteed to attract the dangerous monsters type, which then, predictably, show up. I'm playing conservative until the DM says, stop using your mace, and me wanting to get along, I just do that. We barely survive the encounter. I'm completely out of spell slots. Then the final, biggest wave of enemies crashes on top of us. My character is immediately made unconscious, and while unconscious, has what he assumed is a religious vision. The other players were absolutely clutch. Save the day. Later in the session, we come to a place where my religious character had his vision. I follow the vision. And the GM kills the character, ending the session. A short while later, the GM messages me that we'll need to do a one-on-one -on -one conversation for an hour this week to design a new character to insert into the campaign. I message back politely that it's a neutral point to get off the train. I want to focus more on the campaign I'm running. He doesn't take it well. Fuck him. Fuck him? <laughs> well, to God, that's just a nightmare. Like, you know, I, you don't just turn around and say, stop attacking like this and do this instead. <laughs> that's an overzealous DM. Yeah, like, like, things you know, don't go his way. And he's like, <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Oh, Jesus. You know what it reminds me of? You know the bird people from fucking... Dark Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Skexis. Yeah, yeah. There was that one time in Pathfinder where a GM, who was that guy playing with us before, had a group of paladins summon a bunch of undead to total party kill us in front of an audience in session one. It was supposed to be a sort of obstacle course to sort for new recruits, and the public was welcome to enjoy the spectacle. When we came to the practice fight, the paladin summoned a bunch of actual undead from actual corpses that were way too many and way too strong since the GM was too retarded to understand the CR system. The paladins then just stood by watching with their thumbs up their asses while we got disemboweled for the entertainment of the masses, leading to a complete total party kill. We never played with them again. 
That just yes. sounds so unnecessary. No, wait, 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 why are the paladins summoning undead? That's just that. Doesn't if that doesn't add up, make any that sense. That doesn't add up to me anyway. If you, any guys can explain that to me in the comments, that would be great. But uh, yeah, like you come across. <clears> I suppose <throat> what's worse, incompetence or just being a dick? Because that's more incompetence. Whereas the other guy was more just being a dick. I think both level each other out. Yeah. Imagine both. being an incompetent dick. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Well, I've done the stories on that before, guys. Be <laughs> yeah. DM tells me to make a character for next 3.5 campaign. Tells me human with extra feet. Magic is forbidden. Level 10. Says magic is dead and is coming back to the world. You can exchange later. Make unarmed fighter because DM is infamous for stripping us of gear. I don't know, man. I was thinking you would play barbarian. Ask why he didn't tell me. Just waffles. Make barbarian who is club focused. Don't know one on. Seems primitive. Oh, Jesus, come on. Now, what do you want? Make spellless ranger from complete warrior. I'm banning that book and on. Finally fucking frustrated. Make rogue. Perfect and on. Pissed. Arrive at the game day. Told we are all adult orphans on a magical island heading from the world. We are large size and treated like shit by other villagers. Get into competition affair. Another player uses cure serious wounds. Ask what he's playing. Tells me 10 levels of cleric. Another is playing 10 levels of sorcerer. Another a regular ranger. Ask what the hell's going on. DM gets mad. Leaves in a huff. Fuck DMs and GMs who cannot make up his mind or tell people to play something specific if you have it in mind. Yeah, just fucking don't. <laughs> if you if they want to run a game and they want <sighs> these type of characters, fair enough, tell them that... Then, can we have okay. these type of characters? Can you be like, okay, can we have like, can we have one barbarian? Can we have one sorcerer? Can we have one rogue? Uh, you guys pick among yourself so, what you guys want to play. Yeah. But like, you know, this kind of like the what, group, what I need. group composition yeah. that I would like. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! People that get on like that need to well, I stop. Can't, well, I can't say that on YouTube. So <laughs> need to stop. Yeah, just need to stop. Was playing a PvP superhero game. GM was using a really whacked version of Fate. No skills, no stunts. Only five aspects. Rated from plus one to a whopping plus five. We get ten fate points that recharge every story arc instead of every session. Said fate points only serve as XP for levelling up or gaining new aspects. A wild die that was D6 that created complications on a one. And the gimmick that it was supposed to fit on a three times five index card but obviously didn't. We start off okay, doing our rolls, waiting for her to decide the results of our rolls. Just about how most every games do it. I think each of us got about two rolls in. Then one day, she says, You guys aren't the type of players I'm looking for. And closes the game. (laughs) 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 Apparently she wanted us to read her mind and suss out that we were to narrate the results of our rolls. What? But you, you can't. It's the DM's decision of okay, what. Well, you can get the DM. Well, you can get the GM. DM to tell you, like, okay, did, was it a pass? And then you can describe them. Yeah, but if you have nothing you to go no, on, how the fuck are you meant to? I have no idea. I have no idea. I do prefer that though. Whenever the DM says, "Oh yeah, you managed to do this," and then you describe your action. Yeah, but that's 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 more in the role playing aspect yeah. of it. But if you have literally nothing no, to go on, and she wants you to read her fucking mind. <laughs> I, uh, What's the point to me for me. to be a DM for, you know what I mean? Not a totally unreasonable request, but it was never communicated in any way, shape or form that we weren't understanding her expectations before she went and shit the bed. It also kind of pissed me off how she said people who take turns doing their actions drive her crazy when we were all waiting for her to resolve our actions before doing our next move, which she did in batches in few days intervals. It's a shame. I actually like the character I made for that game, along with the bits of setting that came with him. Oh, see, what the like fuck? fuck? That, that sounds a, like a... That sounds like just a shit show, let's be serious. Fuck. No, pass on that one. Pass on that one. First time playing D&D. Friend mentioned that their group has a hard time getting new people. Red flag, red flag. Yeah. Agree to join them. Go to DM's apartment to play. Everyone has one of those wooden TV trays to roll on. For some reason, DM doesn't trust anyone's rolls. Red flag. Okay. Constantly walks around and checks the dice to make sure people aren't lying. Keeps telling people that one of their dice is cocked and needs to be re-rolled. Usually only the good rolls that need to be redone. 
I get my first natural 20 attack and I'm excited. DM walks over to check. Accidentally bumps the tray causing the dice to roll. Sorry Anon, I didn't see it so it doesn't count. Just use whatever it ended up on. Ended up being a 12. Stop caring about the game and just autopilot until session is over. Never come back. Friend asks why and doesn't see the problem. Kills any interest I had trying D&D again for years. I would kill me. That, I wouldn't be interested. I wouldn't be. If that was my first... Like, little tabletop experience. Yeah. I wouldn't want to play. Like, nah, see you back, guys. Honestly, like, I'm sure it's a great fun game and all. But uh, you boys a dick. <laughs> just <laughs> yes. a fucking dickhead. Yes. Like, honestly, like, why do... Like, you know, don't get me wrong. People fudge goals from time to time. It's a thing. No one really likes it. But for the most part, just trust people on their goals. Unless they're notorious cheating bastards. You know <laughs> what I mean? Unless they're notorious cheating bastards. Then, yeah, maybe. then maybe. maybe. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think definitely the DM putting the dice in his mouth has to be the worst one for that's, me. That's the, the worst thing is I can no. see that happening to me though. I don't know why, but I can really see someone doing that. Who the fuck are you playing with? He's going to be like, oh, you're dead. <laughs> well, well, look, there's always a possibility and something I would fear for. It. <laughs> you know, but look, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Remember, if you have any own stories, definitely let us know. Write them up and we'll make a video on them because... Like most people have got some horrible DM stories. You know what I mean? The only problem is I can't tell any of mine. <laughs> For, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a good to discuss my ones. But most people have got some really good stories and uh, I'd love to hear them and we'll make a video on it. I think it'd be really cool. But like as always guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Remember guys, comment, subscribe, all the other good shit. And we'll see you next time. Bye. All right.